Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this one's on Totally Con and Kikanalo from 2004, of course. So first up is Totally Con himself. Which, from first glance, kind of just the same build as all the Toa Metro sets from the time, or figures from the time. As well as the Toa Haka the following, two Toa Haka the following year. But, of course, they had some extra bits added to them, of course. And, of course, although interesting is this, this color scheme of dark red, mostly, and darkish gold. Well, since, of course, carried on from Takanuva the previous year, but it wasn't until two years later in 2006 with Butaka that, and also some of the Paraka that uh, brightened it up for that. So, like, as for the legs, which is the same build as all the Toa Metro sets, but, however, the uh, feet and leg and thigh armor are in gold, in the dark gold, good for mocking. But also that, if I remove the leg armor, then you see the attachment parts, or these leg parts, are actually in dark red, instead of the traditional gray that all the Toa Metro have. So of course, nice way to change it up a bit, but also adding a bit more color to him. Then as for the torso, for the main body part, well, obviously, also the same build for that, but also the uh, waist part, which is in black, and also torso piece in red, like Toavakama kind of did, and also the uh, chest plate part in the dark gold, but also the gears are in black instead of in light gray. Nice way to change it up, obviously. And as for the arms of which, which are also with the upper part in dark red as the legs quite work, and also the arms in dark red as well, but also these shoulder armor bits of which in dark gold, and darkish gold, are again good for mocking. But as for these sword pieces here, which are very interesting, which quite large for that, but and of course, very interesting how they are connected again. And also why these uh, tooth-like bits here are for is for the main feature, which I'll mention show in a little bit, of course, a little while, of course. And as for the head and mask of which, well, head part, same pieces as all the Toa Metro sets, and also a few set, and lots of sets the years after, of course. And as for this mask part, which, of course, is the Kenohi Howl, uh, which, because since, of course, at the end of uh, Legends of Metro Nui, Vakama gave this mask uh, to Jawler, since, and of course, it, since it just became his mask, of course. And of course, has the same shaping of it, but just in a different design to that. And also has the, like, Axle rod type connection to it, which is how it worked in the little promotional set of uh, Toraka Lecon, of course. And as for on the back side, which just kind of bearing like the rest of it, like the rest of the sets, but also has a gear part in black. And of course, like all the sets, or all the Toa Metro sets, it can turn that and got the gear function, of course. And now, as for these two board pieces here, blade pieces can, like, interlock together and form a surfboard for him to surf on. But although as an extra piece that you get with this set is you can, like, attach a little Technic bit to it and it holds them together. And also with these little holes around which are for him to put uh, axle pin or technic pins into there and have them stick on to that, which they d 
didn't get to include with this set, but and of course, although this design of which did also carry on into uh, Tahu Master of Fire in Generation 2, well, 2015 line or so, it was great to see that this carry on to that as well. Yeah. And although in the Legends of Metro Nui movie, it was like about one slit right down instead, like two or three to that. Not sure why that is, but whatever. And that is about it for Leecon. Okay. And then on to the Kick and Nautilus. Obviously, quite an interesting, unique build for either for both the Titan and Rocky for the time, and also now, of course. <laughs> like as for the legs here, as for the feet, just comprised mostly like to gray Toamata feet and also black Borok feet, but put together, kind of reminiscent of the. Uh, General and Grievous buildable figure set from 2015, obviously. But of course, this with different foot pieces and also the Borok eye teeth on both sides for that. And then the upper uh, leg, which mostly a Rakshi limb with little bits attaching Toametru armor onto there and Borok eyes again. And also held with these two pieces, Technic bits on the back side, of which so this build of which kind of like that of Toa Mystica Onua from 2008, but backwards for that. And then further on up, as for the thighs of which, which are large multiple pieces for that. Well held together by this little technique piece carried on from the throwbots, of course. And then on top of that are the Rakshi back pieces, like we saw on Makuta in the previous year. And luckily they don't flop around like that set, but however are held down just for being in uh, two holes down of that. Oh, it's very clever thinking for that. And also, of course, both of which held on with the uh, two socket joint connector and uh, Metro Matoran limbs for that to, to of course add in some stabilization to that which same thing with the uh, Skirmix in the 2009 Glatorian line of course and as for the body part or the torso which I see kind of unique built to that which is comprised mostly the other curved kind of beam pieces, if, if I take this off, these beam pieces here that go into kind of a Y shape holding socket joints onto there. And of course this design, which carried on to both uh, with both Zidorak and Rudaka, the two of the Titan sets uh, for the following year, of course, so nice to see that in this year, obviously. Oh, also same with the Nidiki as well. And then on the back side of which, which is mostly for the tail, which is built of three different uh, Rakshi thigh pieces connected all together to that. And then also a, a Toa Nuva shoulder part acting as the back part of a saddle for that. And then, of course, a, a Rakshi foot in black as well, mostly as the back part and the front side of which does have the uh, uh, Metru Matoran uh, kind of body chest piece in silver, good to get for mock making. And as for the arms here, which is with the uh, Rakshi thigh pieces but in different position, and also a few technic bits holding up the Toa Metru uh, shoulder arm bits. I wish not good to add a little extra flesh and bulk to it for that. And then the arms, or lower arms, 
which are the uh, Toa Metru limbs, but upside down to that. And then leading out to the little hand connectors with the Borok eyes as a thumb, and the rest of the hand being uh, Onua Mata's claws in silver. Oh, it's great to see there. Good for mocking. And then, and now finally, onto the head. Which comprised mostly a Toa or a Metrumatorian limb piece holding in everything together, and also socket joints again, and also two different uh, Boraka or, or eye teeth for that in silver and in red. Well, red as the actual eyes. But although in the Legends of the Metro Dewey movie, uh, they all had a bunch of these had red eye bits, but one of which had a trans orange for that. Although you can swap these out with trans orange eye pieces as well. And also, that the, it's all made of mostly the uh, blade pieces, which were used on a few other sets now eventually for that. So I think this was probably the first set to ever use those. So, so of course, it's nice to have something all new and exclusive to one set, then let it be in other sets as well. And of course, the horns, of which, well, rhinoceros-like horns, made with both the Borak eye tooth and also uh, uh, Liwa Nuva's uh, air katana as a large horn for that. And as for posability of this set, have it on two legs like this, which is how some people, some folks kind of do so. But even though in the Metro Dewey movie, Legends of Metro Dewey movie, it's mostly on all fours. Although kind of hard to get to that. Not sure why, but whatever. And of course, when like this, yeah, this is probably the best way to do so. Then you can just take the con or whatever Toa Metro you got, stick their feet down, and he's riding on it. But although in the movie you just never see the con riding on it, a, a kicking off for that. If I were to guess why they were uh, done together as this set, mostly to be something exclusive and also a little extra to be included with the set, other than just that. So that's probably what my good thinking is. Although you can let, like, let any Toa Metro ride on it, like, it obviously has that out, uh, stick right down like that, like the movie, of course. Oh, hang on. And so now, on to the final verdict. My overall verdict. I think these of which this of which a really good set, great set for that. Like you get both a Toa and a Rahi uh, which together in a set. Like the Rahi which would oh whoops usually be about uh twenty dollars and a Toa Metro be like eight to nine dollars. So together make thirty dollars of course. So just about like a uh, how Mass Maker versus Gold Grinder from 2015 kind of did, and and as for Leap Con, which and of course this which one he was a quite important character to have for the movie and for the storyline for that, and of course these these uh, blades which great feature to have with him, so you can make him go surfing on air and all, also like that. That. And also, he was a great way to include a lot of uh, gold for that if you were to customize Takanuva or add on to any mocks that you got or, or whatever. And also, a unique shape for the Kenobi How mask, of course. And as for kicking all of which, quite some unique builds to them, but especially the uh, head blades for that, which didn't stay exclusive for long, but at least. 
good to get for the time and also good to have for walking, of course. Although, again with Leecon, I wish he could have gotten some, a few extra pin pieces to attach to his feet for, of the board for that. So he, so he wouldn't have to hold it underneath his foot the whole time of playing with it. But yeah. And now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some great memories of it. And if you are still looking to get this set, if you have the money to do so, and are looking to get this set, I'd say definitely get it. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.